Okay, welcome back to the course. In this lesson, we will be diving into Primavera P6. And what we're going to focus on at the onset here is resource costs. So we've highlighted that. So what we want to do is in P6, talk about how we get those resource costs working for us inside a Primavera P6 schedule. Let's flip over to P6 and see how things work. Here we are in P6. I'm working again with the same project we've worked on through most of the courses, and that is the rail car maintenance facility project. I uh, have our basic P-TUTS, very basic layout opened up here, and we will scroll down here to this area of the project where we're doing structural work. Now, for review, let's talk about resource loading as schedule, because really resource loading and cost loading in some aspects are hand in hand. So here we have here we have concrete ramps, apron slabs, and miscellaneous support. So what we want to do is we'll add our resource, and I would like to add this guy who's doing form work for us, concrete form work. We'll simply add him or her to the project. There we go. Now having a quick overview of these fields, we have our duration field that comes down. We have our budget units per time, so how many hours per day the resource will be working and multiply those together to give us a budgeted units total. Here's where the cost aspects come in. We have a rate, which in Primavera, the field is called price slash unit or price per unit, we'll call it. And you can see that this again is just a multiplication of budgeted units times price per unit gives us a budgeted cost for the activity. So by assigning resources and using this rate, we can then get budgeted costs or planned costs on those activities.